actions of the Russian pilots, it's clear that it was unsafe, unprofessional. Um, and I think the actions speak for themselves. Um, what, we, what we saw, again, were, were fighter aircraft dumping fuel in front of this uh, UAV uh, and then getting so close to the aircraft that it actually damaged the propeller on the MQ-9. Uh, we, we assess that it likely caused some damage to the Russian aircraft as well. We know that the intercept was intentional. Uh, we know that the aggressive behavior was intentional. We also know it was very unprofessional and very unsafe. Uh, the actual contact of the uh, fixed-wing uh, uh, Russian fighter with our UAV, the physical contact of those two, not sure yet. That remains to be seen. Russians kind of think uh, of the Black Sea as their their own lake. Legally speaking, it is international waters. Uh, they don't really like that fact. The United States have been flying drones in open air space across the Black Sea, as they're perfectly legally entitled to do. The Russians have been trying to buzz them and, and disrupt them for months. Um, it was only a matter of time. I expect we'll hear more back and forth about this in the, over the next day or so. But again, I don't expect that this is going to rise to the level of some kind of, uh, you know, uh, major conflagration, direct conflagration between uh, the two sides.